It's Wednesday, December the 7th, 2016, and this is your Barbados Today afternoon update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. We begin with news that all is well at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital following a power outage this morning. Chief Executive Officer Dr. Dexter James tells Barbados Today that even though the electricity supply from the Barbados Light and Power Company went out, the hospital's generator kicked in. Dr. James emphasized that the health institution was currently operating normally without any major problems. He also rejected claims that the hospital was experiencing water problems. One of the island's leading bakeries, which environmental health officials ordered closed yesterday for cleaning purposes, has still not been given a clean bill of health to resume operations. Barbados Day understands that environmental health inspector from the nearby Winston Scott Polyclinic returned to the Purity Bakeries on Colima Rock this morning and is expected to make a second visit at around 4 p.m. It's also understood that the bakery, which employs about 200 workers, may recall some of the employees now off the job to report for special, special duties tonight, depending on what the inspector says this afternoon. When contacted this morning, General Manager of Purity Bakeries, Anderson Hope, said he could not comment at the time because he was in a meeting but will speak later. When reached, an official of the Environmental Health Department at the Vincent Scott Polyclinic refused comment. In sports now, a golfer's caddy has died after collapsing at the Dubai Ladies Masters. Maximilian Zeckman, 56, was caddying for Francis and Lise Cordal when he collapsed on the 13th fairway. He was treated by medics but died in hospital. The CEO of the Ladies European Tour said they are extremely shocked and saddened by this and have suspended play as a mark of respect. The opening round of the tournament will be completed tomorrow and the event will be reduced to 54 holes. There's regional and international news after this short break. Get your paper, get your paper. Only 225, 220. Who? For what? That's the best still news. I don't read about that from Barbados today since last night. That can only the car do. 220, who? The Barbados Today, news you can trust. Public bank just like Santa Claus. Maisie fix up the kitchen and a new TV we get in. A special time to commemorate. Republic will help you celebrate. Get ready to celebrate 50 years of independence right through to the best Bajan Christmas ever with a Make It Happen loan of up to $50,000 from Republic Bank. Give your home a good old Bajan spusa. Buy some new furniture and appliances or take an after-holiday trip to visit loved ones over and away. You could also be one of our lucky winners to share in fabulous prizes. Just visit any branch to apply. Go to republicbarbados.com or call us at 227-2700. We're also available via Skype and FaceTime. Special conditions apply. Public Bank, we're the one for you. Read all about it, read all about it. Get your paper, only 225. Let's get your paper. Is you again with that stale news from yesterday? I got the barbers today at from my phone, and I just get my news for free. What do she? The Barbados Today, news you can trust. So the big story on the regional scene now, Trinidad was rattled by two aftershocks last night following a powerful 6.2 magnitude earthquake that rocked the country earlier in the day. There have been no reports of death or injuries. The Seismic Research Center at the St. Augustine campus of the University of the West Indies also dismissed reports that the country has been put on a tsunami alert. People on their, their home, people in their homes, people still at work and people just going about their daily routine were jolted out of their comfort zone by sudden violent shakings that lasted over 30 seconds. Trinidadians reported feeling the earthquake nationwide. I hope there's no more to come. Yeah, all right. Scared? Tell me what no, your experience no, was like. No, I wasn't scared. What, what was your experience like? What you felt? Did you pray? Yes. I say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I was in my business and I just felt the face, the first one, 
the, 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 the place just started to shake and then it stopped and then the heavy one came yeah. you know and it shook it really it was a really heavy heavy earthquake so what it was really frightening it was feeling normal it was normal it wasn't scared no that was people in Trinidad talking about the experiences when yesterday's powerful earthquake hit the country. Meanwhile, on the international scene, an earthquake off Indonesia's northern Aceh province has killed at least 97 people. The magnitude 6.5 quake struck just off the northeast coast of Sumatra Island, where dozens of buildings have collapsed and many people are feared trapped on the rubble. And finally, a Pakistan International Airlines flight with 48 people on board has crashed in the north of the country. Flight PK-661 lost contact with the control tower on its way from Shashal to Islamabad. The Army has recovered at least 21 bodies from the crash site in the Havilian area about 43 miles north of Islamabad. The national carrier has been accused of safety failures in the past. There were 42 passengers, five crew members, and one ground engineer on board. A famous former pop singer turned Islamic preacher, Junad Jamshed, and his wife were on the flight's passenger list. That's news and sports, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadistoday.bb. Also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We are also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, our screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.